Double Hyme. I'm reading here, my novel team, so I've been here, Mark Barakiri. There's red com uh, there's English language commentary on the red button with Andy Moore and Kerry Sweeney on Dunnock Gabrag, Dochrim and Drow at Gwyn Jones and Kenneth Davis. Well, good evening, and this is the lineup for Wales. Three changes, one personnel after a great victory over Ireland. Joe Thomas comes in at 13 and sees Millard move to 12. Reuben Morgan Williams starts at 9 and links with Dan Jones. Last change sees Dragons Bryce Morgan come in at lock, and the team is captained by Phillips. For Scotland, they also make three changes after a historic wing over England. Rory Howard comes in at 15. George Taylor selected at 13, which sees Hutchinson move to 10. Callum Hunter Hill is the final change and appears at lock alongside Captain Scott Cummins. Late change for Scotland, where Ben Christie comes in on the bench and plenty of players for Wales looking to get on. Leon Brown played in this game as well last year. Man in the middle with the whistle from Italy is Elia Rizzo. And the man in the truck will be Alan Fanzoni, who will be tonight's television match official. Fine. Both teams come off the back of very, very good victories in the first round. Wales beating Ireland away from home, and Scotland, for the first time in 12 games, took the victory against the English. And joining me this evening in the commentary box is for Wales International, Kerry Sweeney. Kerry, great evening, and great to see some young talent on display. Good evening, Andy. I've uh, been looking forward to this game tonight. You know, Wales with an impressive win last week, and Scotland with an impressive win against England as well. So. Was he bubbles to be a, a great game tonight? A very good chase by Giles after a kick into space by scrum half Ruben Morgan Williams. It just goes to show a good chase can turn the ball over. And it was Evans, the open side, leading the way, pinching the ball. A good start from that Welsh pack. Jones goes wide. Strength in that midfield shown by Thomas. And there's Boyce Morgan of the Dragons coming in. Replacing Beard, who's playing for the region tonight. A great opportunity for the youngster. Morgan Williams. Jones. Now, a little bit of space in midfield. Oh, couldn't quite get that ball away. Thomas was on hand. Going through the phases. Hughes on that occasion. Try score against the Irish. And Dylan Lewis, also of that front row union, taking it on. He played in this fixture last year. Giles does very well to evade the tackle of Hunter Hill. Keep that ball in field. Through the phases again, Sean Evans this time the open side rides the tackle from Sheldon. Now there's an opportunity, Jones sees some space in behind. It's all about the bounce. Excellent covering from Hugh Fraser, as you'd expect for a scrum half. That's the captain, Cummings. And eventually the ball goes out of field. And quite a breathtaking start. Yeah, great start by Wales. First two minutes, you know, control the ball totally there. Very physical start by them. And a great option by Dan there in the middle, just take it, taking the space, a little chip over, and they've got a great line out of opportunity on the 22 metre line. Well, again, he is one of the players who played in this fixture last year. Had a very, very good game last week. 20 points, tried three conversions, three penalties against the Irish last week, and plenty of experience. And great for the likes of Ruben Morgan Williams coming in, starting this evening, to know that you have such experience outside you. Yeah, I think that extra year that he's had, obviously, experience at this level does does bow well, I think. And, uh, you know, we've seen from the opening two minutes here the way he's kind of controlled the first couple of minutes. But uh, hopefully he looks like he's going to have another good game today. Well, you can see 13 carries to one already. Meters gained. Just a, a blood replacement. That's Chris Lines coming on, I believe. And that'll also be his debut off the bench. Still get a cap if you come on as a blood replacement. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. They've got, I think it's 15 minutes now to patch him up. Good ball off the top by Lewis Hughes. Doesn't quite find his scrum half, though. Morgan Williams does well. Tackle! Blue away! Sensible play from Alice Wynne Benham. Comes in, knows his scrum half is tied up. 
still organizing good pick up through the middle Lewis Hughes again taking it forward right in the tackle presenting the ball Teddy no way forward for the number eight Good work from Morgan Williams, up a blind alley first of all, but did well, here's the option. Oh, great tackle coming in from Robbie Nairn, but a very sensible cross kick again from outside half Dan Jones. Just unfortunate, Keelan Giles couldn't quite take that ball. Great accuracy there, that, that kick is absolutely on the money. Didn't have to break stride, great catch as well by the winger. Just unfortunately, he got a bit of a swing and I'm kind of knocked the ball out of his hands. Well, Keelan Giles Ten. did very well, but you have to credit Robbie Nairn, Harlequin's winger, did exceptionally well. Flat ball, Scotland happy to run it out via Matt Smith. And just pretty sensible exit strategy is the, uh, the buzzword. Don't find touch. Jones. It's all about the chase now. Hangs it just outside the 22. Oh, under a bit of press now. If Wales can pinch this, there's an opportunity. There it is. Morgan Williams, he needs support now. Eventually does arrive in the shape of Evans through the hands. Good work then, Thomas. Oh, just looming a foot. 12 red, side entry. Oh, side entry, Harry Millard. Such a shame because it looked very promising. Yep. Yeah, great uh, counter attack play by Wales. I think they good options again. Uh, Scotland failed to make touch to take the pressure off them. A great up and under kick by Dan Jones, you know, putting the pressure back on straight onto Scotland and uh, where they forced the turnover. Well, I think already only just over five minutes gone, and Dan Jones again pulling the strings at outside half and show put the ball into space. Here we see. Yep. Well, he's coming in from the side. Yeah, Good call from uh, Signorizzo. Loses his foot in as well. Scotland go deep off the top from the captain. Cummings into midfield. And again, in the same way. Now, a little change of direction from Fraser. Works well with Hutchinson. Howarth into the line. Played in the fixture last year when Scotland won, 36-34. Against the runner play, good pinch now, Evans. Oh, well read. Well read indeed again by Robbie Nairn. Advantage over. Advantage over, calls the referee. Good clean out coming from Bevy Hughes. Jones again no, no. goes to the boot. Not too ambitious this time. Uh, it's about the bounce. It's Howard again. Fraser goes deep. It's a very deep kick indeed. Now, Doyle is in support of his outside half. But Jones just happy. Just to put the ball over the touchline and probably the best option there. All his team in front of him. Yeah, good play by Scotland though. You know they gained a lot of territory there by great kick by the by the hooks it off. You know he's found a lot. He found 50 yards there, and uh, you know not a not a big kick back from Dan Jones. So I think they've uh, you know they kind of won that territory battle there, Scotland. Well, it was well guessed on that occasion by Robbie Nairn because it was a good turnover. And what I liked about the end of twenties, two quick passes from a turnover, looking He's to put the ball into guys. space, He's and certainly him. something that Drake, Jason Strange, the coach, has spoken about during the week. Yeah, I think they've been told, you know, they can play with the spaces, and it's good to see that they're actually playing with their heads up. Scotland again, using their back row, Miller this Red time. Release. Fraser, inside ball. Very well, second time of asking, and that's come off a backwards, straight boot. Backwards. It's gone backwards. Charles will chase inside Hutchinson. Back down that blind side, finds his full back. Good work. Darcy Graham, first time he's got the ball in his hand. 
yet again another tackle coming in from Sean Evans well, defensive structure from the Welsh boys pretty impressive forcing Scotland to kick on that occasion Henry Williams more than happy to see that ball go over the touchline and Wales will start again inside their own 22 but more importantly with the throw in yeah I think it's, it's been a really good uh, first eight minutes actually it's a bit of an armrest at the moment Wales have had their time on the ball looked uh, impressive and Scotland now as well have uh, had a bit of time on the ball and they kind of gaining a bit of territory so uh, you know typical armrest at the moment sides sussing each other out good hands from Wales Excellent run from uh, Harrison Keddy. Number eight did exceptionally well. And again, Bryce Morgan, he showed up well. His hands on the ball several times makes such a difference as a nine if you have options. Hold, hold. Good. Jones. Good touch finder again. Well, again, something the coaches will be pleased with. Sensible play within their own 22. Set on offside line. Find your halfbacks. Yeah, good, con uh, good control again there. He's, uh, he's kicked the ball a long way. He's got him out of the trouble where they were in their own 22. He's found a great touch kick up to 48 metres, probably, just to take him out of that uh, area where they would feel a bit of pressure. Just one moment. If the ball is still in the line out... Well, this time last year, on this pitch, right. it was the Welsh boys... Yeah, if not, if the turned the over out, the reigning world champions, out, England. They then, however, went on to play Scotland, scored four tries in the first half and lost 36-34. Right, I give you the mark, stick at it. Good. Just goes play to that. show there's 80 minutes in a game and not 40. Short line out again called by Scotland right. off the top from Davidson. Excellent midfield defence. Fraser, that blind side again, finds his hooker, Kurt. Back row for Wales, Phillips, Kelly and Evans working overtime. Fraser, this time nothing on, so scrum half nudges it through. Very, very good pickup indeed from Williams at fullback. It's spilt out though. Opportunity now from Galbraith. Sender did well. Spotted the ball. Squeak out the side. Wide, wide pass from outside half Hutchinson. And then sensible kick into space. And it'll be Jones covering for his fullback. He knew that Reem Williams had gone upfield. Involved in action on the other side of the pitch. So sensibly the outside half covered across. Was there with the clearance kick again, but just shows Scotland can be dangerous. Yeah, you know, they, they're looking to play where the space is. A couple of uh, kicks to the backfield, the backfield looking to move the ball to space. You know, taking good options as well. If it's not on the run, they kind of bring in wingers up and just putting the ball through, putting Wales back under pressure. Well, again, sensible kicking and keeping it towards that five meter channel, forcing Wales to kick it back, which gives them the throw in. Excellent ball from Callum Sheldon, the prop. He finds Tom Galbraith. Hugh Fraser waits at the base. Finds his captain, Scott Cummins. Dragged back into the ground by Caddy, number eight. Hutchinson, little switch with Howarth. Just slipped under the tackle from Bryce. Turnover, Joe in the space once again. Chase has come in this time in the shape of Reuben Morgan Williams. Very good chase indeed. And this outside half, oh, well stripped. I think that was Alice Wynn Benham. He's just gone forward though. Little slap of the thigh from Benham. Disappointed because he did exceptionally well to rip that ball. Uh, advantage over, says the ref, and quite right. Another good touch finder from Scotland. Uh, great. No, no, it was a right inside right shoot. Well, it's Bryce Morgan again getting involved. And then Jones getting the ball away. And the second row has been involved an awful lot. Just a little strip tackle, enough to direct the ball back. Then his outside half took over. Exactly where you're on from your second row, doing all the hard work, all the dirty work, as they say. 
The captain, Phillips, takes it at the back of the line. Blue release now to the tackle. Morgan Williams shakes as if no, he's going to no. go to the box. He does Good. indeed. Chase will come from Alice Wynn Benham. Just slightly too long from the scrum half. Yeah, good. Fraser. Good five. It's blind. Via Howarth. Big hit then on Hunter Hill. <laughs> Davidson. Back row today. Played second row against England. Good work in midfield. Stop Matt Smith getting that ball away. The open side was looking to offload. Another big hit, this time on Jake Kerr. And a turnover. Well rewarded. Good counter reckon from Scotland. As you say, it really is an arm wrestle. Blue release! Morgan Williams. Finds Dylan Lewis. Williams steps up. From fullback to outside half, passes to his outside half, and another good kick from Dan Jones. Just put the ball inside the 22 of Scotland. Just puts the pressure back on them. Yes, yeah, that's, that's great play again. He's looking very accomplished today already. You know, 15 minutes gone, he's put a couple of great kicks in, took the right option every time. Nothing really on there to run. Just slid the ball through to find a really good touch in deep inside the Scottish 22. Excellent work on the floor by Joe Thomas, the centre. There's the tackle. Straight down on it. And good to see as well. Harry Millard is co centre during the clearing out. Who says the backs don't get involved? Attend. Very physical so far in that area. It's a, it's a really it's a big contest at the moment between two teams. 50-50, you know, I would call it at the moment. Well, just a, a change. George Taylor back on. Chris Lines back on the bench. However, he returns to the bench as a Scottish under-20 international. Bryce Morgan again. Getting through some work already in the first 15 minutes of this game. Now, Alison Benham looks for the gap. Well dragged down by the open side, Matt Smith. And that's hands on there. You'd expect a penalty, arm out from the referee. Holding on here. And here's the young winner, Benham, who is just slightly isolated. No hesitation from Elia Rizzo. Yeah, good defence as well by the Scottish guy. They kind of roll him on his back, give, him the, give his other teammate the opportunity to clamp on that ball. So he had to release it. Referee, uh, referee right on hand there. Easy penalty. Well, I think it was Matt Smith. Good tackle coming in in midfield was Matt Smith indeed, the open side. And then it was Andrew Davison on his feet, over the top, supporting his body weight, hands on the ball, and you have to let go there. And if you don't, you incur the wrath of the referee, despite the best efforts of Dylan Lewis. You could argue that the Scottish tackle isn't rolling away, but you've got to play the referee. Okay. To the back, to Davidson, off the top, good ball. Hutchinson, missed ball, finds Galbraith. Guys, this is good. Little show and go there well from Murray McCallum. A player who played all five games last year for Scotland. Hutchinson offloads Matt Smith on hand yet again, as you'd expect from an open side. Oh, that looked slightly forward. Referee was happy with it. Taylor continues. High ball from Rory Hutchinson now. Oh, safe as houses. Reem Williams comes in. Didn't take his eye off the ball for one moment. Keddy again, an option for Morgan Williams. And scrum off this time. High ball. Well taken by Hutchinson. Now there's an opportunity. Little bit of pace shown from Howarth. Wide ball, who can get on the end of that? Great tackle coming across on Taylor. Now Scotland 
close to the line. Counter ruck comes in from Wales, spotted by Kerr. Six metres out. Smith, the open side, takes it on. He'll pick and go again. Good little offload. Tackle comes in from the captain, Phillips. Has to get out of there. Smith's on hand. Little back flip there from the scrum half. Fraser. Use it! Pick at the base. Tackle flies in from Roll Evans. Keddy works hard to get out of there. Not rolling away, though, so the referee is an opportunity for the first Eight points red. of the game now. Well, Post. shake of the head. The well, I think the referee was just about right, and it'll be the opportunity for Scotland to open the scoring. First chance of a shot at goal. This was the take out of the air by Hutchinson. And immediately played with his head up, looked to see what was outside. Lovely burst of pace from Rory Howarth. A huge, wide, fat ball to George Taylor. Fantastic tackle, though, from Reem Williams, the fullback. And then it was all hands to the pump. Two seconds, more or less. Aposto, ragazzi. Hutchinson. Opportunity to break the deadlock. Sweet as you like. Lovely strike from the outside half. And 20 minutes gone. It's Scotland three, Wales nil. It's good play by Scotland. I think just the lead up to that penalty, actually, you know, the outside half again, pushing the ball through, putting Wales back in the corner, and uh, not the greatest of clearances by, by the scrum half, and it gave Scotland a great opportunity just to attack and put the pressure straight back on Wales. Well, as you say, I think their kicking game is very good, putting themselves in the right position at all times. Yeah, I think they're kicking from good areas as well. They're kicking from midfield and putting the pressure, you know, playing that territory. They're not playing a lot of phases in the middle of the park and getting turned over. They're having a go and then, you know, kicking and putting the pressure straight back on wheels. Oh, which they've done themselves here now as well. Kicking directly to touch. Dan Jones just overcooking that restart. Little hand up as apology. Almost to perfection. First mistake of the night tonight. Quite bizarre, though, taking a line out. Has worked well for them. They've gone short again, Scotland. They have used the captain in the middle. Good drive. Works very, very well for Scotland. They keep it going. Wales now at sixes and sevens. Scotland on that front foot. Matt Smith is at the back of that driving wall. Being organised by Hugh Fraser, the scrum half. Arm out from the referee. Still advantage. Still playing advantage. Fraser. Hutchinson goes high. Ball's bouncing, turnover. You'd imagine they'll come back for the penalty. And you have to say, it all came from a mistake from the restart. No, no. Yeah, but impressed, very impressive driving line up there by Scotland. They've probably earned another 25 yards off that. I think uh, Wales are going to have to. Certainly try and stop that straight away at source. Once that gets a bit of uh, pace into it, it's going to be very difficult to stop. Well, you can understand now why they chose the line-out from the restart. See, they feel that's a big strength here, aren't they going to touch again? Expect much of the same again. Well, not the most ambitious kick there from the penalty, but Scotland have just driven Wales some 20 metres, and now they find themselves 15, 16 metres from the Welsh try line after a very, very well organised driving more. It'll be interesting to see if Wales go up for this or will they stay down? Sort of 50 50 effort, but Scotland in shape. Fraser again, eyes and ears of this driving more. Exceptionally good play from Scotland. Now, you have to say, they must be over. Who will be in the middle there? 
think it could well be the open side, Matt Smith. Great play, two driving malls, half the length of the pitch for Scotland, and they're rewarded with the opening try of the evening. Well, that's, that's an exceptional driving mall. It's absolutely splintered the Welsh pack there. Just in that mall, it virtually walked that over and opposed. Very, very good play. Very controlled play. It is indeed Matt Smith, who's been a real thorn in the side of this Welsh side this evening. And he continues to do so. The Wales are going to have to be really careful of this now. They need to either get it sorted uh, straight away or obviously stay away from these lineouts. It was just very well controlled, didn't it? One of about 25 metres, the other of something similar. Well, the net result is a try with a conversion to come. Well, he keeps his record up. He scored against England. He's now done so against Wales. And Hutchinson just slides what past the right hand upright. But certainly Wales know now that any penalty outside of the Scotland 22, Hutchinson can put them towards that Welsh 22, and they have a very potent weapon in the driving mall. Yeah, I think you know if I if I was playing in the Scotland team, I'd be every penalty I think I'd be going to touch with that uh, driving mall. You see, it's a big strength of theirs. Backwards. Well, the ball's gone backwards from back. Scott Cummins, the captain. <laughs> See if Wilson gets something out of this now. Good uh, attacking position just inside the 22. Whether they'll drive this line out or they uh, let the backs have it. Well, good work from the officials because the ball was. On your first man, guys. On your first man. Well, I hesitate to say passed back to the 22. Big hit comes in there, in fairness, from Keelan Giles. Team to come back into the 22, so that's why their lineup is there. But it's overthrown. Scotland get away with it. Oh, a little gap. It's appeared. Robbie Nairn, seen him defensively this evening so far, and then just a little break. Inside ball this time finds Callum Sheldon. <laughs> Fraser. Well, consistency from uh, Ilya Rizzo. Give penalty against Wales earlier on in the game, and on this occasion against the Scots. Similar France. There's the overthrow. And it was Jake Kerr at the back. Post. Yeah, it's very frustrating when you're in a team where this happens. You find you're trying to get yourself back into the game. You get yourself in really good positions on the field. And little like overthrows or knock-ons in good areas kind of just gets everyone frustrated. There was a good tackle in the in the end by Reuben Morgan Williams. But uh, eventually, play resulted in a penalty, which will give Wales the opportunity to narrow the gap. An exceptional game last week against the Irish, Dan Jones. To say 20 points is Telly. Just drifted past the upright, certainly a good strike, certainly had the legs, just the radar was slightly off. Well, he'd be a bit disappointed with that, you know, the kicking of his quality. The way he played last week and kicked last week, you probably would have been thinking Hold he was going to kick that. Well, just a confirmation there, England leading Italy, 17 points to nil. Sensible play from Williams, the fullback, trapping it with his feet, then goes off on a mazy run, still going the fullback, twist turns, great offload out the back door. Finding Joe Thomas, now, can they get that ball away? Evans, thought about going left, then right, spins round, Bryce yet again clears out. Keddy, finds Domachowski. Morgan Williams, this time, finds Hughes front row getting involved yet again Sean Evans is there to help them clean out and protect 
Morgan Williams under a little bit of pressure. Shane Lewis Hughes this time. Blue away now, Tex. Under attention from Davidson. Jones, good ball, pulls it back. Ellis Wynn Benham has come in field just to look. Try and chase that ball down, look for a little bit of possession. Keddy waits. Number eight, only knows one way. Morgan Williams sweeps back blind. Big pass this time to Benham again. Wales slowly going forward. Combination of Benham and that man there, Harrison Keddy. Jones, inside ball, good hit on Lewis Hughes by Murray McCallum, and it's been spilt, gone out the side door, Scotland through the hands, Jones to Hutchinson, Hutchinson downfield, now it's a foot race, Nairn is there, as is the fullback Reen Williams, does very, very well, Keenan Giles protects the ball, looks after his fullback, here's an opportunity though for Wales. Boot the ball, puts it into space. Chase comes back. Very good take out of the air by it set up. Rory Hutchinson. And Scotland set off again. This time, Rory Howard. Switch on the side. Oh, huge hit coming in. And a little bit of extras. Jones upfield. Every player out on their legs. This is end to end stuff. And I think there's only one place this could be going. Nope. Scotland go again. Yeah, he's going to run it. <laughs> That's a great kick as well. That's a fantastic. He felt that he was just going to kick straight away. I think he looked up, saw what was in front of him, boot the ball. But a huge hit coming in on that man there, Darcy Graham. I think it might have been a bit late. Oh! Late. Someone once said, I got there as quick as I could. First one in early, even if it's late. Oh, good man, Darcy Graham took a huge hit up on his feet. Good to see. Representation. Um, but it's an this is an important platform, really, for our future generations of international rugby players. And uh, you, you're looking at boys here now who you won't know much about in two or three years' time. We'll be wearing the Welsh jersey. There's no doubt it, about that. The statistics prove that. And it's a good game as well. It's going to be a, a very close contest. It feels like it anyway. Yes, it, it, it's uh, it's close. Um, their line out game is impressive at the moment, and our defence really is um, on on the on the mark. You know, we're defending really well and physically. Um, but it's, there's nothing between two, either side currently, and it's going to be to the wire, I, I think. Anyway, we'll wait and see. The crowd are expecting a good match. Gareth, thanks very much, Dale. Okay, thanks. Well, I think he summed that up pretty well. Scotland's line-out play is pretty impressive, as is the Welsh defensive effort, and we saw that there, the way the forwards protected that ball at the ruck. Because they're under pressure a little bit. Yeah, I think so. And I think Scotland, you know, they're playing right on the edge with the ruck as well. There's people coming in with hands, not releasing. Uh, you know, I think the Welsh coaches would want to have a word with the referee. But uh, that's what you get at this level as well. You need to fight. You know, you need to find a way to get on the referee side or get able to be able to communicate with him. Who's in? Who's out? So get on the right side of him. Good coffee, I'd say. Deep this side. There's an opportunity. Good offload then from Hughes. Took it at the back. Jones dancing feet. Now he needs a little bit of help. Under pressure from Ali Miller. Hooks it up. Sur dwi loi Keddi, a chi'n teimlo ddallu fe sy'n wedi datgloi i'r llunet amddiffynol i Gymru. Mae'n cario'n frwd. Williams, sy'n mynd i adi arafu ychydig Keddi eto. Ni'n ymosod ychydig bach fel un i golion, ond maen nhw'n aros amdano ni. Lewis Hughes in Cerimlan, and the uh, momentum of the Gothi Amato. But here, playing with the Cymru de Cymru-Volde, but a Cyrion, Laura a Canol. Narte. Manun Thobn, the Cymru Benham, and Eto, Ar Alban. 
Lanning of Lim, it's a little company named Pethen, how Iral Banwer of the Master of Henobri. So, from a Pedora Laudi Gamria, Stim, Inoral Banwer, Ara Sauer, when I became Nugida Richard, and Rithrolanning of Lim. Ino not with Yonner Hanner, he was not going to buy his system, I'm the Fenola Alban. Gurthamo saw them the Fenar Lane and out. She tried that dressing Gamri. Jones and Kedin Cabrera Dean and a sky and in Arte. He joy after the tackle at Tona. Genara Dig, Bach and Laviris. Ralvan will include the Yaravir Mediant. Tovelini Golion, Toma. David Hughes, Scorio Kais Kenta, Camrina Vidigoli, Anthony Werdon. Now 10, and then both the Afghan Williams, Williams, he bent all, Massey Giles and Tori Nolte Veun, and Martinez Kais, Nagu, do it in the Karad, Maralban, Ruford, with the Karad Nolna, he Ruistor Kais, or the Nedrich Mor Moran Ochel. Well, Naki Red, the Afghan Morgan Williams, or the Embiid Mount Gurion, or the Jess Arthur Mount Norando. Hanner Bolchen and Dangos are true, the Arthur, what it takes, but then he may be in Gashi Karad, them a bit. Well, Hanner Bolch, I figured out another draw. No, no, because the first one. Well, right, right, Bassi, we're in middle. Both Giles with the Kadui kid boys said that just partly. Coffee Rulet just that get them and plan your bail, Drosselinesh. And then for this under Rediad, I'm in Northern Week. I'm Drek Week and Matt Smith, the Vedo Albani, Gerard Nolna. Said in Arash, and he pleased no other. We don't know if he can be fully Alban Kimbo here. You're playing a sketch or a claw. Ok, yr, blaen ysgellwr Smith, yn athro waith caled iddo nôl. Ond acl na'ch achub i dîm fan hyn. Ie, mod feddi yn un egod ynddi. Mor agos, ond mor bell. Ti felly cadw i mwy o... Ond nawr te. All Gymru neud i'r Alban, beth nath yr ymwelwyr. Ychydig yn ôl. Dyma'r Rhyther wedi sefydlu. Heisio. I gwthio nhw'n ôl, ma'n nhw wedi stori, ma'n nhw dros y llunet gais. Ar i saith eto, sy'n hawlio'r gais i Gymru. Sean Evans yn ei rhyn gwmws beth nath yr Alban i Gymru. Y sgarmes symudol wedi ffurfio mor mor effeithiol a dim modd i'w rwystro hi. Hanner yr olwyr mewn mynd hefyd ddod y teg iddyn nhw. Cadw nhw'r bel yn dyn oedd yn araf ac yn bwrpasol. Ac wrth iddo fe droi fe a gorwyd y llwybr i Evans i blymio drosod. Gymaint o chwaraewyr yn y pentwr yna. Sgarmes i mi dol yn gyfrifol am gais arall. Ac yn seicolegol bwysig pum yn eir cyn yr egoel. A dyna ddyn i olygu i Sean Evans ac i'r tîm. Dan Jones am y trosiad i ddod ar tîm cartre o fewn pwynt. Wedi gwthio ddi to, fydd e'n anhapus e'r hwnna. Ie, wech allan o saith wrth nos fetha. Wedi dechrau gyda'r un llwyddiant y tro ma, ond yna fe, Sean Evans, fe sy'n gyfrifol am warchod y bel wrth gwt y sgarmesu symudol. Fe'n a thenn da wrth nos fetha wneud hynny. Mae nhw'n meddwl newid y rheolau yn dyn nhw i atal hynny yn yr haf, a fydd rhaid tros glwyddo'r bel yn hytrach na symud yn ôl, yr un i golyn yn symud yn ôl. A fydd hynny yn neud y sgarmes symudol yn llai effeithiol, dwi'n credu. O'r Alban lan yn gyflym, ond Cymru wedi adfer y sefyllfa. Llai na tair mynyd. O'r hanner cyntaf. Bryce Morgan yw'r pump wedi cael hanner pwyrus, dwi'n credu. Dan Jones o dan bwysau. Ie, mae'n lan leid sefyllfa gwael fyn hyn, ond lein just tu allan i'r ddwyr hygen Roer Mantes sydd nôl i'r Albanwyr. Mae nhw'n sôn yn dyn nhw am yr exit. Ar ôl y... Wel, yr hyn o ddim di digwydd wrth nos yn ôl i Gymru yn yr afifau gwyn. Ie, ond sylwch, 
derbyn y bêl o'r ail ddechrau yna wrth i'n mar ar banwyr a lain ar y ddwy ar hugain felly dwi'n cymryd ddim wedi wneud i gwaith yn hyn. Just cyn yr egwyl. Yr cem. Mae'r geto, ie, dyma ni to, yn sgarmus symudol. Mae'n gobeithio ennill cic os falle yn ôd i'r Albani ddechrau. Neu hyd yn ôd mwy na hynny, wrth i'r rhythr barhau. Mae'n maen nhw'n feistri corn ar hyn, a man afantes ymwneud o'r, maen nhw dal ar ei trad, 500 metr a mwy nawr. Cymru'n gwegian ychydig, llinell gais y cochion yn y cefndir, cic botros ben yr amddiffyn. Ond fi ffrai dwi'n ôl. Wel, yw'n nhw'n ôl at y lein dos bosib yn amser am i'n arall. Mae nhw'n edrych mor gyffordus fyna. Wel, byddech chi'n mynd am y cornel sbosib gyda'r sgarmau symudol, gymaint o arf ar hyn o fryd. Dau lema bach gan Cymru hefyd, achos pa mwyn i'n cigon hir o'n cadw'r byl yn fyw, mae hawerth ar greu mwyn i wrth y mosod mor dda hefyd. Felly mae'n rhaid yn nhw fod yn cyfrwys iawn gyda'u cigen nhw. A nhw yn byddu'r phwyntiau. Peth arall i wneud yw i gam i'n ôl, mae'n anos wneud fy'n hyn. Ond tylwch, mae'n gymaint o trefn gyda nhw. Mae'n amhosib atal unwaith mae'n amomentwm ar y sgarmau symudol. Ac, wel, y ffasiwn i'w dyddu yma, pa mae cic os bydych chi trio cic gwahanol. Nawr, mae angen cymeriad i wrth sefyll y grym fy'n hyn. Oherwydd mor anodd yw hi, mae'n afantes eto, mae braich Elia Rizzo ar led, mae nhw'n nesau, gam, wrth gam, mae dy llunet gais. Mae'r cais wedi dod ydy eto anodd gweld pwysi ar weilod y pentwr. Ond mae yna ail gais wedi dod, mae Callum dwi'n credu sy'n ei hawlio hi, a mae'r Alban yn taro reit cyn yr egoel. Tri chais o dri sgarmau symudol. Mae'r arf yn un ymosodol i'r ddau dîm, ond yn sicr y Albanwyr sy'n cael y gorau yn yr ardal yma. Dwi'n wneud ddim yn adlew ar chi'r hanner cyntaf, mae'n digon o rygbi a gorau wedi bod yn y gystal, ond mae'r arf yma sydd gan yr Albanwyr yn gyfrifol am cicau cost mae'r ddau gais hefyd. A mae'r rhaid i Gymru ddatrys y broblem, byddwn ni'n awgrym i bod nhw'n sefyll yn ôl ac yn danfon rhywun rownd i daclor gŵr gyda'r bêl yn hytrach na trio atal i yn gonfensiynol. Ie, felwn ni'n meddwl, mae Callum o ddyno i dirio. A dyna chi ergyd psychologol iddyn nhw. Rhaid cyn yr egoel. Hutchinson i rwbio'r halen yn y bryw. O'r ochr anghywir. Ceisio gwyro ddi un gelfydd. A mae wedi gwneud hynny. Felly, gem ddiddorol, ond yn sicr yr Alban ar o'r uchafiaeth ar yr egwyl. Yr ail sgarmau symudol iddyn nhw a'r ail gais yn dod reit cyn yr egwyl. Dyna'r bwlch felly, digon o gnoel cil i Gymru. Lawr at Catrin, mae reolwr Cymru wrth i ymyl hi, Mark Taylor. From the front rower, Murray McCallum, the rest of the points from the boot of outside of Rory Hutchinson for Wales. It's a lone try from the open side, Sean Evans. And Kerry, during the break, we're talking about the strength of this Scottish driving ball and something that the Welsh boys need to be aware of. Yeah, I think that would have been the biggest focus half-time is actually how are they going to stop that. You know, I think apart from that, Wales have played pretty well with their possession and their territory. But uh, obviously, the biggest problem they've had is stopping that driving line-out. Jones, very well measured kick, fielded by Miller, inside was outside half, Hutchinson. And that is another raking touch finder from the outside half, on both outside half, have kicked the ball exceptionally well this evening. Yeah, I've been very impressed with the both of them, just the way they've kicked the ball and the way they've managed their games individually, you know, they've, they've kicked at the right time, they've played at the right time, and just taken the right options in the right areas. Well, both outside halves played in this fixture last year. Although Hutchinson last weekend against the English was at inside centre, but just goes to show the experience they have, and they're certainly bringing it to the fore this evening. 
big boot on him as well. He's very accurate. He's dropping that ball just inside the touch lines as well. Morgan Williams goes to the box kick. Giles will chase. Very well measured kick from the scrum half. And eventually bounces towards the hands of Howarth, the fullback. Scotland go wide. Hutchinson, oh, slightly miscued that. Here's an opportunity. Well, it looked to be fucked out of the air. It was Taylor. Second time of asking, the centre took it. After giving him the, the big build up, Hutchinson just fluffed one of his kicks. Now, there's a spillage. Opportunity for the Welsh boys. It's the try scorer, Evans. Finds Morgan Williams, another break. He made a great break in the first half, almost resulted in a try. He still goes. Dragged down eventually by Matt Smith. Now scrum half needs to appear. Comes in the shape of Benham. Blue the winger race. does well. Gets the ball back eventually. And the tradesman, Morgan Williams, back up on his feet. Scotland do their utmost to slow it. Bryce Morgan, another one of the Welsh protagonists, did well in the first half. Keddy just steps over the ball, leaves it for a scrum half, who offloads to Hughes, the hooker. Smith in on the ball. Now, is he pinched that? No, says the referee. Well, sensible play. Jones, little switch in midfield with Millard. Still goes. Keddy picks from the base, arm out from the referee, playing penalty advantage. Keddy. Has that been spilt? Nope. They still play. Ruba Morgan Williams waits. Eventually finds him. Jones, flat ball behind the whole of the three quarter line. Ball out to Giles. Giles looking for support. Comes in the tape shape of Thomas. Two meters short. Little pick up and go then from Lewis Hughes. How close is he to the line? Referee right on the spot. There it is. It wasn't going over earlier. Certainly at that time of asking. It's the captain, Tom Phillips. And just when he wanted the captain to come to the fore, he appears. Good work from Shane Lewis Hughes, but it was the captain, Tom Phillips, registers the second try for Wales and closes the gap on the Scots. Good work from Joe Thomas, carried on then by second row Shane Lewis Hughes. And then it was the captain, spotting the opportunity, evades the challenge of Jake Kerr, the Scottish hooker, and scores the try for Wales. Exactly what Wales would have talked about, definitely half time. You know, let's get out there, let's score first. Let's cut the deficit straight away, get back into the game. Great build up play again by Wales. You know, they take that opportunity well there. Well, something he has a habit of doing, Philip scored a try in this fixture last year. And just when you want your captain to come to the fore, he appears and scores. Now, Jones, just been slightly off with a kick in Ray there. Strike has been good. And almost uh, overcompensation that time. But the positives, after the ball was turned over, lovely wide ball, Giles again looking for support, came in the shape of Thomas. Carried on then by second row Lewis Hughes, and eventually it was captain Tom Phillips, the back rower, getting over. Dan Jones, out of hand, happy to put the ball over that touchline and just calm things down. 15 points to 10, Scotland lead. But as Kerry, as you said, important the Wales scored first in the second half. I think so, you know, and just try and keep Scotland without a, without 30 metres really from their try line. Uh, without doubt, I think they're going to come with another driving line-up. We'll see how Wales react with it this half. They need to stop this at source straight away. Short again. Callum Hunter-Hill this time in that middle. That's better drive from Wales. Certainly this won't be going forward. Hutchinson. Pulls it back. Darcy Graham. Seven. On the shoulder of the outside half. And an awful lot the winger could do there. Tomachowski has bounced. But does enough. As does the centre, Harry Millard. 
causing all sorts of problems. Well, it was an opportunity you felt that as when Benham was away just forward. I think the referee has called that. I think he's right there, Bernie Borderline, but I think he's just a little forward. Oh, there'll be no catch in that, man. Scored a breakaway try for the Blues Premier Select against London Welsh in the British and Irish Cup. Good work by the centres, Joe Thomas and Harry Millard. Good response by Wales, mind to that first driving line up by Scotland. You know, a lot more aggressive, I felt, uh, that first time. Well, I think you're right. you said they had to stop it at source, they did just that. And I think on the... The contest on the floor seems just being shaded by the men in red. Yeah, I think especially in these wide areas, you know, uh, Harry Millard and Joe Thompson, they're really aggressive, they're, you know, trying to come through and kicking the ball with their feet, just making it messy for the Scottish scrum off. Fraser feeds the scrum, Harry Millard comes across, looks after his scrum off. Hutchinson, wide ball, plucked out of the air by Taylor. Howarth comes into the line. Back inside to Galbraith. All rather pedestrian-like at the moment. I think that was the first scrum of the match. I don't know whether that's sad you're pointing it out or you remembered. Oh, lovely little play. Dummy scissors from the outside half, almost away. Now, who'll step up the first receiver? McCallum, the try scorer, one of the try scorers for Scotland. Fraser is there again. This time, well, is that height? No, this is the referee. Scotland just about making inroads into the Welsh half. Meter by meter, a little sideways snipe from the scrum half. Come back inside, Miller, number eight. Hutchinson, good flat ball. Oh, referee's seen something. Well, I think that might be a, a little bump to uh, Dan Jones in the process, but side entry, quite hot on that. In fairness, yeah, first half, I think he pinged. I think it was Joe Thomas. He's been at least he's been consistent. I think as players, you know, that's all you want from a referee. Even if you think he's wrong, as long as he's consistent with both teams. That's all you want. All you want. And a hat full of penalties. Well, good news for the Welsh side is that Dan Jones is back up on his feet. And another good touch finder from the outside half. Good position uh, this by, for Wales here, just to see uh, how are they going to approach this, whether there'll be a forward drive again. Yeah, I think it was uh, Callum Hunter-Hill just coming in on that far side, giving Wales the penalty. Yeah, they're right on the edge of it, Scotland. The captain, Phillips, the try scorer. First up. Now, can Wales do to Scotland what they did to them? Sean Evans, the other try scorer, still going, looking at the referee, almost in hope more than anything. They still go forward with a drive-in ball. Arm out for the penalty. Now, you let it go. Not the best ball for Morgan Williams. Jones, flat ball then, finds Thomas. Thomas engulfed by his opposite number, Taylor. Morgan Williams finds Morgan. He's tackled to the ground by Hunter Hill. Blindside break is on. Thomas, centre. Oh, almost got through that first gap. Looked to offload to Benham. Couldn't do anything about it. Ball bounces down, but they'll go back for the penalty advantage. Well, I've no doubt that this... Well, I say that, I was going to say we'll go straight for the posts to close yeah, the gap. A decision to be made here. Yeah. Obviously, is it a kick? Um, do they put it into the corner? I think with, you know, the last driving line went really well. They fancy any chances growing in confidence. They are indeed. I have to say, my call there will be posts, but... Uh, yeah, but I think Dan Jones obviously not kicking as well as he has last week, but uh, I think the forwards have fancy their chances here. Yeah. Joe Thomas, another good break, almost through, and almost a very, very good pick-up from Alice Wynn-Benham. 
control and composure. That's what the Welsh side need here. They need to do what Scotland did to them. And the overthrow again. So disappointing. Timing was all wrong there. Scotland come away via Matt Smith. Up to the 22. Still they continue. Fraser does well to offload. Good little step from McCallum. More time now for Hugh Fraser. Finds his outside half Hutchinson. And something we've said time and time again this evening. Another good touch finder from the Scottish outside half. Just relieving pressure every time, isn't he? You know, he's putting the ball 30, 40 metres. He's just having a little trot up now. Scotland will slow this right down. But disappointed by Wales there, you know, getting in great areas to really get back into the game, try there, you know, they're kind of really running the, running the game. So Wales go short this time. Well challenged by Scotland, they come away with it. Good work from Callum Hunter-Hill, second row does very well. Fraser into the box. Scruffy looking kick, Giles now. What can he do? Little dink into space. It's about the bounce now. Oh, it didn't favour Giles. I tell you what, I think that was very good play by Hugh Fraser, the scrum half. I'd like to see that again. I think he need that back on purpose. Little pick up now from Benham. Does well, wide ball to Thomas. Thomas, he's got someone outside him. It comes in the shape of Harry Millard. Dinks it forward, Benham. Well, catalogue of errors maybe, but it almost resulted in a try for Joe Thomas. Well, they're going to go to the TMO, so it's Alan Falzoni. I think he's asking if there was obstruction on Ellis Wynn Benham. And my first reaction was, okay. might well be appearing in the Oscars. If it's a conclusive, 22 start. I could be doing him a disservice. If I am, I apologize. Possible obstruction on 14. Right after the kick. Look at that then. Right, I'm checking for a possible obstruction. Well, they've gone to the TMO for it. Hey. Hey. Millard dinks it over the top. He's definitely, uh, Wait for it. There it is. <laughs> You get an Oscar for it, but, but uh, I think he did uh, instruct him. He's actually offside. But he's offside, yeah. No, no, no. I think that'll be clear. Ilya, see? I have the decision. It's not clear and obvious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> not clear and obvious obstruction, so yeah. 22 start. Perfect. Not clear and obvious. Simple. Crack on. Scotland. No fraction, 22. Scotland quite to argue that uh, it should Nine be a penalty. Months. However, I think probably that continue with play, drop out 22. Get on with it. Hutchinson, good deep kick. Finds his opposite number. Three, three. He responds with a high ball, Benham in there. But it was Hugh Fraser at the scrum half. So often, it's the nine that takes the ball. <laughs> Davidson. Fraser back up on his feet. Kurt does well. The hooker is carried with authority this evening. Oh, good offload. Darcy Graham would have loved the opportunity there. Ball just passed behind the winger. Found himself in a bit of space there. Just, just a little bit behind him, I think. Scrum, Wasn't up in front of him. Just put him off his straight. Yeah, Ali Miller, the number eight. Good flat pass from outside half Rory Hutchinson, and then Miller, just under pressure from Alice Wynn Benham, put it behind Darcy Graham. <laughs> the purest out yeah. there. Let's have more than two. Table. 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 Table.
<laughs> I love that. Referee says the scrum half down the middle. Okay. Crunch. Scrum half nodding at him. No hint that he's never going to put it down the middle. Set. There we go. Keddy will look after this ball at the back of the wild scrum. Reuben Morgan William waits for it. Now, will he pick and go? No, they stay in one place and they get the penalty. And you are pats all around for that well shake. Under pressure and the Gavin Upperson straight. I think they'll be really happy with that. You know, they've had a good go. They've been at a stalemate there and then they've really come through Wales. It's a good penalty to win, good position, good field position. Well, that is a very, very good scrum. It'll probably be something akin to uh, you'll see in the Queen's Vaults reminds, tomorrow, I think the ball is just before the Welsh the game. I will call use it, right? um, you know, like, you the very, very positive for that Welsh pack. Yeah, but, yeah, but no, no, I understand there's a lot more. Right. You can't play no, advantage. And you have to say, good skill from Harrison Keddie at the back, because it's not easy controlling that. No, especially with his head down, you know, Younger really doesn't know where that scrum is going. He's got to control out with his feet. Shows good skill. Now, here's the important thing now for Wales. Yeah, they need to be accurate, yeah. Good areas again. And for me, I would go relatively short and controlled and limit the danger or the risk. Middle. Take it. Sean Evans at the back again. Captain of the ship driving towards that Scottish line. They're inside the 22. Call coming in not to play the player's neck. Jones. Dink over the top from Thomas. But it's well read by Rory Howarth. The fullback always in control. Little hand up in the air to signal to the referees called the mark. And they've gone. I was going to say they've gone quickly. Let's go! I think what he did was he gave it to his outside half, Hutchinson. And it's the Welsh outside half, Jones. Oh, so unlucky. And now they will go all the way back from where that ball has been kicked. And I sometimes think that's where this rule is a little bit tough because he's not trying to kick that ball dead. It's almost a fantastic, that first bounce, and they just took it the wrong way. Yeah, he's unlucky there, that's a good kick. It's just another mistake though, isn't it? It's kind of put Wales back in the pressure where they've been, you know, they've been dominant for the last... 10 minutes just think the more you let a Scottish team into your 22 give them that chance that driving line out well just confirmation of the England score 37 7 at the moment against Italy and there's a change there Scott Burnside will come on for Ali Miller the number eight for Scotland and slotted on to the blight onto the uh, the flank And it's the Troy scorer, Five. Matt Smith, who goes into the number eight position Set. at the scrum. Yeah. Fraser feeds. <coughs> Smith. Taylor. Loop around by Galbraith. Ball eventually comes back to Fraser. Burnside, first touch of the ball for the replacement. Now, has that been pinched? Oh. Well, I think you could have given a penalty on four or five occasions then. You can't jump onto a rack. What do the referee say, Andy? The old Italian? Yeah, you can't jump onto the rack. He actually said it in English. <laughs> they can't hear him. Well, 6-4, the penalty count. But more worryingly, Scotland have put the ball into the Welsh 22. Here it is. Evans, first instant, did exceptionally well. He felt that he'd pinched it. Then, I think there was a little hand from Scott Burnside, the replacement. Yeah, he had a little look at the linesman to see if he got away with it, and uh, he did. Well, it's only cheating if you're caught. Scotland, go 
deep middle. It's a ball now! It's a ball, can't be brought down. First up. Scotland organised, seemed to have just almost shift. got that shake together. We're just shifting it all the time. And guess who's at the back? It's Matt Smith yet again, eventually brought down by Dan Jones. And you have to say, a great tackle by the outside half. Well, you would know all about that. Not what you want to see. An open side rampaging towards an outside half. No, especially with a 10 yard run up. Textbook tackle right around his ankles, trying to stop him. Speed bump, typical yeah. outside half. Just get hold of him, get him down. Well, did everything right, didn't he? Low tackle, held on. Once the knee goes down, that's deemed to have been tackled, you must release the ball. You just see with this mall or the way they're setting up Scotland, kind of like moving along the side, outside of Wales all the time. The momentum is just taking them around the Welsh defence. Simple ball again from Wales, do well at the line out. Ball at the back, Morgan Williams waits. Davidson came round, but he's ushered away. Morgan Williams into the box. High kick, just slightly too long, but under pressure. Darcy Graham slightly took his eye off the ball. Good chase from Alec when Benham. Interesting to see if Wales will scrum for a penalty again after the last scrum. Uh, we've all been that. It does happen. In fact, the last time I played against you, I came on a fullback, and you did it to me twice. Well, seeing a scrum half at the uh, fullback, why don't you oh, yeah. just test his high ball skills? I will say I didn't knock it on. You didn't, yeah, you didn't, on, ca you didn't catch it away, did you? Oh, I knocked it back. This is the mark. Left, left. Good. Worst thing is, you even told me it was coming. <laughs> Well, as you mentioned, the last scrum in this area, and what's this, scrum four? Mind. Very impressive from the Welsh unit. Scotland certainly steadied the ship here. Keddie asks for a little bit more, goes down in the front row. Penalty is gained. It's a good, you know, it's a good weapon. It's like a driving line out as well. It's uh, if you got it there, you know, it's an easy way to work your way up the pitch. Good territory, you know. You play, they virtually scrummaging for a penalty there. Got that pressure. Come around, see the prop, the Scottish prop go down early. <coughs> oh, Jones finds touch inside the Scottish 22. Wales. This time they do go to the front, and Sean Evans yet again goes to the back of the driving mall. Scotland have come through the middle. They're quite entitled to do that. It's broken up now. Morgan Williams does well, finds David Hughes. Arm out, I think, from the referee. Can they generate quicker ball? Evans. Again, right on the edge of the 22. Morgan Williams. Still playing penalty advantage. Oh, lovely offload from the fullback. It comes to Giles. Giles will go over in the corner. Great hands from Reen Williams, the fullback. Timing was perfect. Great pass to Keelan Giles. And there was no stopping the flying winger on that occasion. Great hands, Donny. Well, it was a flat ball from Jones. Went through the hands and great offload from Reem Williams into the hands of left winger Keelan Giles, and there was no stopping him. And it's another try for the men in red. Well timed pass from Harry Millard there as well. You know he uh, drew, drew two players onto him as he passed. Just a simple pick off of the fullback. Great pass as well. Good finish. 
Well, I think what was good is they knew they were coming back for a penalty, and I, I think Scotland were half expecting them, well, for the move to peter out. But certainly not. Millard Thomas, Williams, and then eventually Keelan Giles came very, very close in the first half. Good line from Harry Millard. Just went in between two players, caused the outside guy to step in, which created the overlap for the two on one on the outside. No, he hasn't quite got his radar on this evening, is he? No, he seems to be striking the ball okay, just, just a bit out on his radar. But game on, 65 minutes gone, 15 points apiece. Will that substitution? Yeah, well, we've given ourselves a really good chance to build up a good lead just before half time. And you know, since we came out there, we've just not been controlling enough possession there. And uh, we need to get on the right side of the referee as well and keep a hold of some ball. And uh, hopefully, we'll get a, a big 15 20 minutes here. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting 20 minutes, isn't it? With both teams really going for that victory. Yeah, they're two pretty level teams, to be honest. I thought, you know, if we could keep a hold of the ball a little bit more. We've not really tested Wales when we've had the possession, we've looked pretty threatening. Um, so it's obviously just about controlling the, the, the next 10 minutes. John, appreciate it, Dioch, thanks. Well, John Dalziel, head coach of Scotland and 20, reiterating what you were saying about getting on the right side of the referee and just noticing there, Dan Jones just seems to be holding his side a little. Yeah, he looks like he's carrying a bit of an knock, see whether he can run it off. Could be a great opportunity for Billy McBride, who's on the bench. Penalty of advantage for a penalty. Which is important now. I think the Wales keep Scotland out of the out of their half. Just keep that possession and territory. That was great work keep by the hooker, David there. Hughes, but they were playing penalty advantage. I think it was for Six taking the jumper ball. in the air. Fortunately, can't. I sometimes think it is. I mean, he's lost his jumpers there, hasn't he? And it, it's not a case of trying to drag the other guy down. He's trying to save yourself. Save yourself as well. Coming down from a fair old height. Well, they're in that danger zone inside the Welsh 22. They coped with it well the last uh, two driving lines, man. They've been a lot more aggressive this half, I think, and, and they've taken that drain up, uh, driving line up down with Scotland. Well, one of the three Welsh try scorers, Keenan Giles, just a little bit of treatment. Back up on his feet now. Scotland go to the middle. It's the captain, Scott Cummins, takes it it's down. Moore is called. No guessing who's at the back with his hands on the ball. Arm out, and that's good work from the officials because that came from the assistant referee. And for all the hard work that Wales have done there. I thought he was a little unlucky there. Eh? Thought he well, came from the middle, but. Well, Mark Taylor looking on. Chris Horseman feels that as Chris well. Chris Horseman, they, uh, they certainly don't agree with that. Tom Philly. Watch the assistant referee now. Just the two officials working in unison. It was a very good counter wreck and drive from the Welsh boys. But Rory Hutchinson will have the opportunity to put this closer to that Welsh try line. Big ask of Wales to keep uh, Scotland out now. I think it's a uh, big, uh, big next line up for this. If they can just keep just keep them out, and uh, they probably gain a bit of confidence as well if they can. Got themselves right back into this game. Well, seven metres out. Scotland been very clinical in this area, mind as opposed to Wales. You know, every time they've come into this area, they've come away with something, whether it be points from the boots or obviously tries. Now three tries to two this evening in favour of the Welsh lads, as it was last year. Five tries to three, I think it was, and yet the Scots took the victory. Captain again, Cummins. Uh, crossing, actually joining in front of the ball. Which is always a tight one at, uh, at the line-out situation when you're looking to drive them all. I think they'll be really happy with that. Wales, obviously, big, uh, big part of the Scottish game. Just get themselves out of here, get it, relieve the pressure. Get Dan Jones to put them downfield. Yeah, solid enough strike from Jones. He's still holding that side. Here we see it. 
going for free subtraction. Pardon? I got the wrong word. All oh, subtraction there, sorry. Well, technically he's right. They are joining in front of the ball. I mean, but how many times do you see that yeah, week some, in, week out? Some refs will let you get away with it, some won't. Off the top from Lewis Hughes. Giving us a knock on, though. Wales will build again. Keddy takes it on. Clear out from Dylan Lewis. Morgan Williams hits the blind side. Now. And he's playing Get a knock-on advantage, so it's over. That's, That's touched in flight. Everybody's on side. The captain, oh, Scott Cummins, who eventually gets his hands on it. Scotland begin again. Oh, lovely ball. Yet again, George Taylor comes on to it. Spilt, though. And ben Robbins. The placement did well to keep that infield at play. Little offload from Davidson. Fraser finds McCallum. And Scotland just going through the phases. Hutchinson, lovely break from the outside half, eventually dragged down by Morgan Williams, but it's a replacement. Robbins, Robbins still going. Tackle comes in from Phillips. Full line to the left-hand side. Arms go up in the air. Scottish players looking for this ball. Hutchinson directly behind the ruck. Scotland change direction. Another big hit going in again. Burnside, another of the replacements, picks up, takes it on. And must fit. And must. Push, push. Fraser. Looks for his outside half, Hutchinson. Howarth. Howarth looks for that inside ball. Marshall to the ground. A combination of Millard and Hughes. Foot goes through now. Benham. Oh, well, I have to say, I think that was pretty much 50 50. But it was another back for the knock on. Good scramble defence from the Welsh, though. Yeah, I think Thomas and Millard have been a, a real pain in that ruck. Out wide, working together as a team, you know, getting through, being very powerful through the rucks and just getting their feet in amongst there, trying to kick the ball away, making it really difficult for the nine to uh, get his service away. Well, it was good work from David Hughes and Millard, and then Joe Thomas came in. Good spot from Hutchinson, realised he had a front row in front of him, kind of just stood him up and stepped outside, then, then gets a great offload in. Well, that was Ben Robbins. Again, another player who performed in this fixture last year. Coming off the bench and making an impact. We're good. Well, confirmation there that Leon Brown is on for Dylan Lewis of the Dragons. He's actually uh, Premiership Player of the Month back in October. Yeah, played against him this year. He's very impressive, uh, playing for cross keys. Um, did very well in the scrimmage area, so uh, we'd expect to see him have an input on this game for the last uh, 10 minutes or eight minutes of the left. Big lad. Mm -hmm. He's certainly a big unit. Uh, that's the end of the day for Left, left. Troy scorer Murray McCallum and also Callum Hunter Hill. So as the changes come in, sometimes the game can get a little bit disrupted. It's important that the Welsh boys, certainly as they look for a victory, keep their eye on the task in hand. Could be heading for the dreaded draw. All the rage nowadays. Well, I'm not sure how many scrums we've had now, Kerry, but uh, I lost count. Now. Only the second one that's gone down. That. Actually, in fairness, they have been quite positive, haven't they? Yeah, Something they have has come from it every time. I think Wales have been uh, very powerful. They're looking to play for penalties. Just walk their way down the field. Nice penalty here. Just get Dan Jones to put them down there. Kick it. Let's get in the right areas. They're probably saying to each other. Let's get in the scoring position. 
Uh, just confirmation of the Scottish replacements. Adam Nicholl has come on in the front row. And another player, Stephen Ainsley, makes his debut Bunch. coming on in the second row for Callum Hunterhill. Always a big moment, isn't it? Coming up, always remember your first. Good drive from that Welsh pack. And again, a rewarded with a penalty. Blue front row and the pressure collapsing. Very dominant there, aren't they? they every time they scrimmage and they go for penalties, obviously it'll be in the referee's mind as well that they are that dominant. So any time he goes down, he's going to lean towards Wales. It'll be interesting to see if they can get a get a scrum in that 22 or close to the line. Put the pressure right on Scotland and put the pressure on the referee as well. Well, it is a big call. Well, the Blues, Morgan Senioski takes to the field. And he's come on for Sean Evans, Troy scorer. Put in a very good shift this evening. But Wales again. Ball is stolen by Davidson. <laughs> and just to compound things. And they've gone. Oh, Hugh Fraser. Now, this could well be a bugbear of mine. Scrum half has taken the ball and taken it quickly and quite often a referee wants to drag him back <laughs> to explain why he gave a penalty. Yeah, this is a, this is a bugbear of mine as well. It's like, you know, the players take the initiative to speed the game up and the referee is a bit pedantic of six inches away from where he's marked it and won't let him take it. And, but this has been a bit of a weakness of Wales, I think, you know, they've gone in great areas, just been a bit poor on the throws or the lifts and just a line out there. Well, Scotland have got the advantage of uh, Davidson is a second row playing in the back row. So another option for them, but care. Again. Well, yeah, he's got this in his head now about the moving the back, isn't he? Again. So great for Wales. Consistency. Yeah. If the ref says it's handball, it's handball. Don't do it again, regardless of whether you think it's right or wrong. He can't move back and he got to pass the ball back. Do an expert on driving line or something. <laughs> and scrums. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to win it? Three and a half I minutes. Still, I still think it could be anyone's game. I think it's just about getting getting in the right areas, I think, and you know, trying to just impose themselves on the game. In the, in the areas where they're good at. That was very, very sensible play. Jack Kerr comes around the back because none of the Scottish players knew, but it's backfired. Hughes takes it on the hooker. Pick up at the base then from Lewis Hughes. Brown bounces his first tackle. Lewis Hughes yet again, ball in midfield, bobbles. You have to come all the way back. Dan Jones off that cultured right foot. Now, this could be perfect because if it doesn't go dead, Scotland will have to clear the lines. They do so. Now, that hasn't made touch. David Hughes puts the ball advantage. in field. Playing advantage for offside. Wide back. ball, little step inside. Offload then to the try scorer, Giles. Can't take it, but they'll go back 18. for the penalty. Have to retire the 10 metres. 18 in front of the kicker, keeping advancing. And it was Adam Nickel. What does he do here? <laughs> There's only one thing you do here for me. I don't think he'd fancy the kick, Mike. Come at the hour. Yeah. It's a chance to put them all behind him, Mike. He's down. Well, Billy McBride has just come onto the pitch. Here we go. Do you fancy winning it for us? Yeah. And he's going to go. Yes, play. good man. Fair play to him. Good confidence. Just first, his first action of the game would probably be putting Wales in front. Uh, you walk on the pitch in an international. You give him the ball, you give him the responsibility. And that's what he wants. That's why I think that these games are great. High pressure lets these youngsters get a taste of playing at a higher level. And I have to say, for me, I'd rather see players play an under 20 game than get released back to regional. Yeah, I think, you know, if it was me, I think I'd rather be playing for Wales and going back to a regional to play. You know, you, it's only. It's only a couple of years you get a chance to play for the end of twenties if you're lucky to actually have two years, but some boys will only have one. Yeah. 
Same process that they'll go through every time they kick the ball. And he has struck it sweet as a net. Take a bow, Billy McBride. Punch of the air from the youngster. Literally walked on the pitch. The first touch of the ball was to put it on top of his kicking tee. The second was to smash it between the posts. Wales 18, Scotland 15. 45 seconds to go on the clock. Big 45 seconds, I think, for Wales. I'll just need to be really accurate off this receipt of the kickoff. Nothing silly. Let's just get themselves out of their half. Or maybe just kill a clock for 30 seconds. Should be talking to the referee to see how long's left. Advantage, last play is the call from the referee. Billy McBride could be the hero. Yeah, that's a good arm. Well, they'll go all the way back. And you have to say... See Robin hiding there. <laughs> there we are. Look, he's been on two minutes. He's only... He's asking, uh, what's the time? What's the time? Well, man of the match, surely. <laughs> time up. Well, you talk about pressure situations, and this is one. Boom. Fantastic. Great Take technique. a bow, sir. Oh, it's good to see you know he's come on. He's, he's one act, act straight away. He's probably waiting for his time to come on. Big pressure. You know, he stood up to that. All I can say is uh, his mum must be a good kicker. Yeah. You no, know, Robin wasn't. Yeah. Not a kicker of a ball, anyway. <laughs> oh, fantastic. And is it going back to what we were saying? I love to see this. Players putting themselves under the spotlight. Bit of pressure. Under 20 international. Yeah, not an easy place to kick either, Park Iris. You know, traditionally very windy up there, so it's been tough for, for boys in the past. They've seen no other games. Yeah, man, the match have showed there. Uh, Ruben Morgan Williams you know, showed his class tonight. A couple of breaks, eye for a gap. I think he's played very well. He's varied his game, showed the skills that he has. Must have been a tough call between uh, Morgan Williams and Billy McBroyd for man of the match, I would have thought. No, I think, I think it's a lot of boys have put their hands up tonight. I think it's been a good team performance. You know, it's gone both ways. Scotland have led for most of the game, but I think Wales have stuck in there. You know, they've found a way through. They've obviously struggled at line-out, but found a bit of a way into the game through the, through the scrum as well. Well, last play of the game, says referee Elia Rizzo. Keep his pace. And you want this to go to your jumper. To your scrum half and into the out. middle of the stand. First bit done, second bit done, third bit done. That's Wales win. 18 points to 15, they beat Scotland. Billy McBride lifts one of the try scorers, Keelan Giles. The outside half replacement walks off the bench to take the victory for Wales. And can he sum up quickly? Yeah, I think they've, you know, they've really dug in there for, for the full 80 minutes. You know, there's been a tough all out in for them tonight, but uh, they found a way and they certainly deserve to win. They could have gone either way, but.